I just received my Watt Team power, beat, power meter and we're going to be doing an unboxing today so we'll see what we got inside. I just wanted to point out that I live in Southern California and this was shipped from Garden Grove and I received it the same day I got my tracking number from FedEx so pretty fast if you buy it from Southern California. Um, Package nice. Bubble wrap on there. Let's get this out. Okay. See a bubble wrap and some more plastic wrap. Okay, so here it is out of the, all the plastic and bubble wrap. It's just gonna slide this front cover off here. Power beat, game changer power meter. Here's the sleeve it came in. Cool. So the reason why I went with this one is because I have a Merida. Reacto, which has the bottom mount, the bottom bracket, rear brake, and stages and 4i. Uh, don't give me the clearance. Oh, I don't have the clearance for those to my crank arm. So this was good, or else I'd have to buy a different brake. Here it is, uh, opening the box. Cool deal. So the left right comp units and the sensors. Get this guy out. Inside, Inside here we have our uh, quick user manual. Colored pictures and stuff. Looks like I've gone through the videos and stuff online. Looks like it's going to be the same exact instructions, but we'll read through it just to be sure. And when I actually install the video, and I'll have those videos going to make sure you install it correctly. And back here, it looks like we have the, the bags for water for the calibration. Right there, packaged nicely. There we have the uh, glue, the jig for installing the sensors in the correct location, uh, USB charger, there you go, charger, which is nice, and then the nice thing about this is that it has the lithium ion batteries, so the rechargeable batteries, and then this is primer all for installation. The hooks for hanging the bags, I'm guessing. Remember this is cable fishing strip. Okay. The little stickers. You have to hold the wire in place so it doesn't hang. And then some washers, some spacers there. Some gloves, so you don't get the, the glue on your hands. So one's the glue, one of these is the glue, the other one's the remover. So if you ever do want to remove your sensors, you can, but that will it'll result in the sensors not being able to be reused but you'll be able to clean the crank arms up looking nice and so if you're going to get rid of it and you're going to keep your comp units so you don't want to sell your crank set or something like that with the sensors on it because they're not going to have the comp units going to keep them you can just go buy new sensors from Watt Team and, uh, and reuse it but you can remove those sensors with the remover which is nice also better look at the little calibration for this little jig you install this on your wheel. I mean, not on your wheel. 
on your pedal that goes into your pedal hole there. So you remove your pedal, slide that in, and that's going to give you the exact place where you're supposed to mount the sensors. So I'll do another video um, during installation. Hope you enjoyed.